Hey guys, a Duke and Dude here. Or how about Vic HD for short? Considering how today it's been announced and confirmed that Wave Race 64 is now going to be part of the online N64 uh, collection right now, the Switch Online service, I figured why not? I'll share one of the um, one of my favorite racing games of the N64. Oh, there are some really good uh, racing games on the N64, but uh, race. Well, when it comes to racing, Wave Race 64 is probably one of the best. Along with F-Zero X, but uh, again, there are many options to choose from. So, let's begin here. Now, uh, let's just get a, let's see, a little warm-up here. Get used to the controls. Select your watercraft, please. Now, at the time, there were only four characters to choose from. However, if you do press up on the joystick, you can technically get a different skin. Like a different option. Right? And if you listen closely to the song... Um, you actually get like a final countdown reference out of it. Particularly the, the synth, the beat. It sounds like Europe's final countdown. I think that was the influence there. Okay, uh, usually... <laughs> My character of choice is, uh, I think, Miles Jeter. I think that's his name. He's the only character to not appear in the uh, continuation game, the, the sequel, uh, Wave Race Blue Storm. Now, believe it or not, Wave Race actually had its origins on the Game Boy. But uh, the gameplay for the Game Boy is kind of generic and a little forgettable. And they really revamped the game when it was on the N64 because um, they, they wanted it to be like F-Zero but with boats in that sense. So uh, they, they wanted to focus on that idea. So let's check this out. Welcome to Dolphin Park. I hope the audio is fine here. Uh, let's see, Dolphin Park. Yeah, this is basically the warm-up level. Warm not time. exactly not exactly an actual track, just a warm-up so you can get used to the controls. Yes, uh, might as well bring it up. Uh, there are some control schemes here for those who are not familiar. Yeah, the, um, the narrator here, the female narrator, actually gives you the insight as to like, what to do with the controls. Of course, the whole purpose here is mainly to follow the dolphin. You can practice as much as you want. And here we got some ramps as well. Uh, let's see. If we go, for example, um, press up and down on the control stick to lean the rider forward and back. Yeah, she'll constantly guide you through it, tell you what the controls are. So, for example, there are some there are some tricks that you can do in this game for like the stunt mode if you want to try it out later. But mainly, if you go, for example, back and forth, back and forth, we'll go for like a handstand. Okay. Now, if we do, for example, um, you can control the height of your jump by leaning yeah. the rider forward or back. <laughs> Sorry, that can be a little distracting, but you get the idea. So you can do other tricks. Like, for example, if you go clockwise up, you can technically do that, like just like driving in reverse. If you leave and hold up, you can technically like drive like that for a little while longer. That can be a little tricky to get right. Uh, let's see. If it's uh, counterclockwise down... You actually do that little trick. The spin and the backflip. It really depends on how you set it, because if it's just uh, counterclockwise up... To do a barrel roll while on the ramp, Sometimes it won't read properly here because of the controller, but you get the idea. So if you go counterclockwise up, it stays up. You flip it down, it stays down. But if you do it really quick, let's see, up, down, you do the backflip as well. Okay, as for jumps, this is mainly for stunt mode anyway. That's the barrel roll. Quickly move it left and right and hold. Or right and left. 
It, bo it works both ways. For a backflip, also fairly simple, forward and back. Now there's another trick that's not exactly mentioned in the in this tutorial. Sorry, the, the control, the input didn't read it properly. But yeah, again, the backflip. We'll do it over here. Now, there are some characters that can actually do a double backflip. This is not exactly on the manual either. Oh, almost. You just need to get a lot of speed out of this one. I can mostly do it with Jeter. But you can actually do this with a Yumi Stewart as well. The only girl of the group. So let's see. Ah, oh, so close. But there, there is a way to land it right. You just need to get a lot of momentum, a lot of um, running room. From over here. There we go. And the barrel roll. Another trick that's also useful, but it's not exactly mentioned in this tutorial, is the submarine. Submarine is basically back, forward, and there you go. Now, here's another trick, but this is just me toying around. I like to call this one the rodeo. Yeehaw! <laughs> it's kind of a silly move, it is pointless, but I, I get a kick out of this. That's the rodeo. But anyway, you get the idea. Mainly this level is just about exploring the... Exploring the area and just following the, the dolphin. There are, um... There are tricks later on where you can actually unlock the, uh, the feature of riding the dolphin. But that involves, like, doing, like, every trick in one go. Like, uh, in, in uh, Dolphin Park in the stunt mode. But you get the idea. Let's begin the race. Welcome to Sunny Beach. Da -da -da -da. Get ready for the first race. Three, two, one. Another important thing to mention: those bars on the bottom right. Yeah, they pretty much indicate how fast you can go. Excuse me. <laughs> Um, yeah, and of course it consists on uh, going on the buoys in the right path. Yellow is left, red is right. If you miss more than five buoys, you get disqualified. Now, I normally choose Jeter as like a, the go-to character. Um, let's see, Ryota Hayami, which is pretty much the poster boy of the game. He's more for like the, the beginners and maybe intermediate. Ayumi Stewart is more like the, um, more for beginners. And uh, Dave Mariner, who is the heavyweight. Yeah, that's more her, like for the more experienced guys. But uh, all around, I recommend Jeter. This is a bit of a show off. <laughs> and I should point out uh, the um, the narrator, the the color commentator in the game. Uh, uh, yeah, he's supposed to be like this uh, this um, voiceover guy from Hawaii who actually did uh, like radio shows. He was hired to do uh, this video game, not knowing what it was. And uh, apparently his voices, his voice clips were eventually reused for a Mario Kart game. I, I think for like Mario Kart 64 on the Japanese version, as well as like Mario Kart Super Circuit. And he was not credited for those, and that, that kind of sucks. He found out later. Like literally at the moment where um, he was being interviewed by the people at Digino Gaming, he didn't know until he was informed about it during the actual interview. I mean, you you kind of feel bad for the guy, you know? 
Anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed the little setup here with OBS. Welcome to Sunset Bay. At least things are like improving visually here. Sunset Bay is a great scene. For an N64 game, this looks still it still looks gorgeous to this day. See, there I didn't start uh, I didn't press the A button on time. So it's like F0 when you think about it. It's the same concept. You have to press the A button at the precise time. So the game is currently available in the Nintendo Switch Online store. Um, the, the, the Nintendo Switch Online service. Currently announced today. Sorry. As of this video, it's been announced. Another thing I forgot to mention is that the B button helps you step down a little bit. Like for example, if you're going through like a big jump, you can actually push your, push your jet ski down. Just to maintain more balance and control. Let's see. Do a barrel roll. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so you can actually adjust the controls with the C down button, the, the camera. If you want it a little more up close. The normal run is a piece of cake for me, to be honest. You finished first and got to move on to the next round. What's curious is that I think in hard and expert mode, it's really hard to reach third pla um, fourth place like at the very end. Because there's actually a bonus scene that's, that was so hidden that no one really knew about it until much later. There, there's like a scene where like if, if you actually reach fourth place like at the very final race there's a scene of your character literally like on his knees on the beach shore just pounding his hands in frustration like it was like something out of out of planet of the apes Three, two, one, oh! drake lake is a tricky one because of the fog mechanic here but it's only the first lap another thing that I should point out is that uh, uh, there are some wooden uh, boards in the way, wooden posts, that can make this really tricky. Especially when the buoys are put a lot closer and hard in expert mode. Jeez. Yeah, in normal mode, apparently the AI are a bunch of pushovers. But in expert mode, boy, do they make you step up your game. And you sometimes have to cheat to win. Heck of a head start. I left everyone in the dust. Perfect run. Yeehaw! Game is still fun. You finished first and got seven points. Great race! Move on to the next round. Welcome to Marine Fortress. Marine Fortress is kind of tricky, particularly in the later levels, because in this round, um, it's only available through like one track, but the, the track changes like in the lap two or three in, two, in the later levels. You see why he's my go-to character? He's just too perfect. 
Yeah, this part actually opens up in lap two. But in hard mode and expert mode. Watch out with a lot of hazards here. Wooden planks and broken boxes. It, yeah, it gets trickier once that uh, once that canal opens up. Another bit of trivia, uh, this game was actually re-released in Japan, and uh, it had like a special edition, but it was more like a rumble edition. And that version, not only did it just have rumble pack, uh, rumble features included, but it also, um, also had like some alternative versions of the songs. Welcome to Port Blue. Again, this opens up like in the second lap during uh during harder levels. Have a good race. Three, two, one. Oh! Now I should point out that I also have uh, played Wave Race Blue Storm. And I own that game too. Um, I should say about Wave Race Blue Storm is that it's a great game, but I think the AI was a little too aggressive. And the controls just don't feel as tight. Oh shoot. Yeah, the controls couldn't feel as tight compared to the, the controls here, which feel a little more loose. No problem. Whoa! I really got distracted there. See, pressing B, you step down. The music in this game is pretty cool. I'm sorry. That's nothing. Normal mode is essentially easy mode in this game, if you can tell. Ah, shoot. Man, I won anyway. That's what I get for showing off. Eh, still won. Okay. You finished first and got seven points. Great race. Move on to the next round. Welcome to Southern Island. Southern Island's a cool one because um, here it focuses on the the tide just going down. It goes from high tide to low tide. Not to mention the song itself sounds like something out of Van Halen. Like, I think the song Jump. Gotta be careful here with the post. Ah! You know, if you time it just right, there's a ramp up there and you can actually do a submarine. 
saves you a lot of time. Speaking of ramps. Hey, that was pretty cool. Killer whale. The visuals in this game are top notch for an N64 title. Yeah, the tide is lowering at this point. Had I reached the ramp, it would probably be like 10 seconds ahead. ever like a, a continuation of wave race I would love to do like the narration voice because I could ham it up as well hey keep your eyes glued to the course time to get serious maybe we just yelled bonsai out of nowhere <laughs> Congratulations! Such a ham. Unfortunately, he doesn't appear in Blue Storm. Now, this is only a sample of, of the game itself because uh, later on you'll get to see more levels. That was a perfect run, mostly. To move up to the next class. The game still holds up to this day, so I recommend it. Now let's see. Um, I don't think I should mention here. Let's see. Select your watercraft, please. I just wanted to Select mention the other course, courses. Uh, okay, so we have already seen the main courses for normal mode, but then we have Twilight City that eventually opens up in hard mode, and Glacier Coast, which opens up in expert mode. Twilight City, think of it as like a, uh, a sort of like a Las Vegas lagoon type of area. Not to mention that the uh, the song in Twilight City, very similar to Copacabana, I kind of picked it up. Uh, Glacier Coast is like literally doing like the jet skis like somewhere like in the Arctic or the Antarctic. It's like you kind of wonder how they get away with it, but hey, it's a video game, whatever. Let's go back anyway. Select your watercraft, please. I just wanted to show you the other tracks here. Wave breaks. Uh, let's see. Time trails. As for stunt mode, let's just do a quick Select stunt mode. Select please. Select your course, please. What would be the best one to do a stunt course? Hmm. Let's go Southern Island again. Now, of course, the whole purpose of stunt mode is trying to get all the uh, all the rings and trying to do as many stunts as possible. Oh, 
I'll have to restart this one. Because you have to uh, time everything just right. Dang it. Uh, the waves don't help. Let me try that again. The waves aren't helping. Three, two, one. See what the start mode. Almost had it. But you get the idea. The, the whole object of the game is just trying to get the best, uh, the best score possible here. Course select. Let's go with a different one. Select your course, please. Yeah, screw it, Dolphin Park. See, the narrator is such a ham. Ah, screw it. One more time. Oh! That kind of worked, even if it was a little sloppy at the end, but you get the idea. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this little Let's Play. And uh, I recommend you check this game out on the, on the Switch Online store. <laughs> on, the, on the Switch Online service. Sorry. But yeah, um, hope you guys enjoy, and uh, stay tuned for another video. Take care. See ya. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. <laughs>